Good morning. It's day 46 and this is our view this morning. Kind of cloudy and hazy uh, but still a pretty view and we're off to uh, it's going to be a 20 plus mile day most likely 23 or 24. But we'll let you know what's going on as the day goes on. Hope your day's off to a great start and we'll talk to you later. We have a heck of a climb going this morning. I think we climb up to like 8,000 feet. But it's pretty steep and uh, rocky in a lot of spots, so we're going pretty slow. Just some views from where we had our morning coffee at this morning. Here's another nice view on our way up the next climb. So earlier today, I was walking along, had my head down, and um, just thinking about a bunch of different stuff. And one of those trees was across the path like that, and I whacked my head with it. Keep your head up, keep your, the brim of your head up and pay attention. That's the lesson I learned today. I don't know how good this is going to come out in this video, but this mountain straight across from me, right up over here, sure is pretty. I know I'm always saying that things are sure pretty, but they really are. It's just awesome being out here. Just had to get a quick uh, little video of this rock just sitting there all by itself, standing up like that. So many times we'll be walking by boulders that are like the one I just showed you, where it looks like somebody just carefully balanced them and placed them like that. It's always interesting to me, like how they stay in that position for such a long time through all the weather conditions and rain and wind and snow. They just stay balanced like that. So this meadow down here, you can tell clearly at one point was a lake. Here's a little better view of that meadow I was telling you about. So it's after lunch and there's Julian back there. We have uh, about a six mile uh, climb and uh, I'll flip the camera around here. Not sure which mountain we're going up, but up and around between a couple of them. So trying to think that our day is going to get kind of long on us here, but we're, uh, we're still shooting for a campground. It's about 13 miles ahead. Starting to get a few thunderstorms around us. So we're trying to get up and over this pass before any of them start hitting. Yep. So this is what it looks like under Julian's Tyvek ground sheet. 
and we are hiding underneath here because it's uh, raining on us and there's some thunderstorms around so we're under a tree which I know is not the safest place to be but it's probably better than being exposed out in the open this is what it looks like from the other direction Oops. Oops. Get it to focus. This is what it looks like looking outside a hole in Julian's ground sheet. Pretty little patch of flowers. Well, so now it's only light rain. We're moving along pretty good. Here's a look back. So we're getting a little peek at the Sierra. I'm not sure what mountain that is, but that's one of the Sierra mountains. Well, pretty exciting. The beginning of the Sierra Nevada mountains. So I'm at about mile 690 and we're on our way down from 8,000 feet. But look at this whole area, man. Must have been a big fire here and just kind of devastated everything. You can see Julian over here and then the trail goes all the way around all the way around and around that other point so we just kind of continue descending I think we had uh, over a 2,000 foot elevation drop and we're probably uh, under five miles to camp which will put us at a 23 mile day so you won't be able to see it on the video, but this mountain that I'm pointing the camera at is all boulders. It's just the whole thing. It's, you can see the difference between the way this one looks and the way this one looks. Now that I'm a little closer, maybe you can see the boulders a little bit better. I don't know if they're... De they'll be defined enough. A couple miles from camp. So this whole valley is just filled with my yellow flowers. It's beautiful. Hey Julian. You ready to be at camp? Yeah. We both say our feet hurt. We've had a bumpy day today. It's, I uh, can't put my finger on it, but um, this hasn't gone quite the way we planned. Uh, but you're gonna have some days like that on the PCT. Some are gonna go really smooth and some of them aren't. So we're making it through it. And um, I don't know if we're learning from the experience, but we're gonna make it through it. So now we're about, uh, I'd say half a mile from camp. You can see a creek down here, which is probably where we're camping at. around the corner and the whole valley opens up. You can actually see the, what I think is the Kern River over there. Wow. I know I keep showing shots of the same thing and maybe because it's the end of the day, but 
it's just uh, amazing and it's so nice to be out of the other environment and see the Sierras. So it's the end of day 46. Uh, we made it to camp. We did our 23 miles. We're uh, right at the, I don't know, what it looks to me like the base of the Sierras. So um, pretty nice view. Got a nice little creek by us. Got to get our tent set up and uh, get some dinner. So been a little bit of a rough day. And like I said before, I don't know exactly why it was a rough day, but uh, things just didn't go quite the way we thought they were going to go. Uh, I think we had a little bit more climb than we expected. We got up later than expected. Had the thunderstorms earlier. I don't know. Nothing nothing big, nothing major. But uh, I'm, we're both happy it's the end of the day. We're within 10 miles of Kennedy Meadows. So that'll be kind of a nice celebration tomorrow. And also, we're going over 700 miles tomorrow. So that's just crazy to me. I hope you guys had a great day. I'm missing my family and uh, definitely missing my dog. So we will talk to you guys tomorrow morning and uh, have a great night.